Hello! It's day one of y'all fest. I'm super excited. It's been a while since we've done this because COVID happened and everything has sucked, but y'all fest is back now and it is the first day. Um, today the plan is to see Aiden Thomas, Neil Shesterman, and Melissa De La Cruz. We are going to see what happens. And also my friend is tagging along with me because she lives down here in Charleston. So we're gonna see each other. Day, day one. That is what I'm here to do. Also, I swear that I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing shorts. I swear. I'm wearing shorts. Um, this is the best camera angle I can come up with. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Maybe that's better. And day one of Y'all Fest is over. I did everything that I wanted to do. I also spent money. Um, also, I'm an idiot. The reason that I'm an idiot is because, um, I wanted to get the Scythe Trilogy signed by Neil Schusterman, Schusterman, however you say it. And I had a paperback of Scythe and a paperback of Thunderhead and then a hardback of The Toll. And I was like, that that's gonna bother me. I need them all to be hardback. So I found a hardcover copy of Thunderhead and bought that at home at Barnes and Noble. And then I was trying to find a hardback of Scythe but I couldn't find one. And so I was like, well, I'd rather have Thunderhead and the Toll signed in hardback and then like side signed paperback than, you know, not have it signed at all. So I bought a paperback of Scythe because I had one. But if you, you've been watching my videos, you know that I, I painted the edges of my other paperback copy and it looked horrible. <laughs> not horrible, but it's not great and I didn't want it to be signed. So I um, bought a paperback, which is fine. However, Got to the venue today, went to Blue Bicycle Books, and guess what they had? A hardcover of Scythe. So I've now bought Scythe three separate times. Um, this one was actually already signed, but I wanted it to be personalized because I love the Scythe trilogy so much. It's one of my favorites. So I just, I really wanted it personalized. So I got it personalized. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful and amazing. It made me very happy. I got all three signed. I need to take the post-it notes out. Without ripping the book. Now I can read the series again and it will be signed, which is great because I've been thinking about rereading the series. Because I've really been wanting to because I loved it. Look at this. It makes me so happy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I got all three of the Scythe books signed. Um, and then I also met Aiden Thomas. Aiden met an Aiden. Um, got Cemetery Boys signed. Gotta take this post-it note out. He got so excited when he realized that we had the same name, but mine spelled with an A instead of an E. 
I love the I love the metallic marker thing that he's got going on here too. Made me very very happy. This one I bought in Blue Bicycle Books. I was so unprepared for y'all fest because like I've been so incredibly stressed out. And the last thing that I got signed today is Love and War by Melissa De La Cruz because I have the first two signed. The first two, I have the f first and third book signed, but I didn't have this one signed, so I bought it and got it signed and personalized. So yes, um, got those signed today. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get these babies signed and I'm actually gonna try to grab another copy of Ray Bearer so I can get it signed for my friend if the copies in Blue Bicycle Books aren't already signed. I bought this one today too. I've spent a lot of money, but I have this for tomorrow. I also want to buy Realm Breaker from Blue Bicycle Books tomorrow. Um, if it's not already signed, I'm gonna get it signed because I'm gonna see Victoria because I want her to sign my collector's editions of Red Queen and Glass Sword. Mm, so pretty, They're gorgeous. And of course, the first way that I'm starting out my day is I'm gonna see Adam Silvera, of course, and I'm gonna have him sign more happy than not and they both die at the end. And I'm gonna try to make a drawing for him tonight because I absolutely love Adam so, so, so much. And the last time that I met him, I gave him a drawing and he loved it and it made him so happy. So I wanna make him another one. The haul for the day, I guess, I don't know. Um, got this really nice bookmark at Neil's signing. Oh my gosh, like, it's also like, you cannot tell, it's so thick. It's a very nice bookmark. Like, I actually really, really like this. And then I also got a Yelfest bookmark, of course, of course. Oh, I also bought um, Battle Dragons by Alex London. So I was walking around Blue Bicycle Books and I saw it. And if you know me, you know that I love Alex London. I just realized that the inside of this is like dragon scales. That is so freaking cool. Wait, what does it look like naked? Oh my gosh, book one. Wait, I didn't realize this is the beginning of a series. That makes me very happy. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Love, I love Alex London though. And then I also got another bookmark. Oh, and then also at the merch booth, um, I bought stuff, but also I spun a little wheel and I got a free shirt. Got a free Y'all Fest shirt. This is the free shirt. It's a small. And so my friend Kari was actually with me today because she lives in Charleston. And so like she was just hanging out with me and she was just there for moral support. And so um, I told her she could have this shirt, but I forgot to give it to her at the end of the day before she left, but it's okay because I'm gonna see her tomorrow. So Kari has a shirt, and then I got this Y'all Fest shirt. It's, you know what, I shouldn't have gotten an extra large. I should have just gotten a large, but it's fine. It's whatever. I just really wanted a, uh, a Y'all Fest shirt. I also got a button. And uh, this doesn't count, but I got a little newspaper thingy. It was a good day today, but I'm very tired. Um, I also finished reading um, volume seven of Vigilantes, which we're gonna have to have a talk soon to talk about books that I've read this year. Um, but I finished volume seven. I brought volume eight with me that I will read tomorrow in line until Kari gets there. Um, oh yeah, also these. Is um, Y'all Fest is doing these wristbands, you know, saying that like you've been screened and you're either vaccinated or you've had a negative COVID test. So that is what this is for. I am negative for COVID and am vaccinated. So, you know, I, I'm glad that they're doing that so it's safe. Tomorrow, I can't tell you what the plan is because the plan's in the notes on my phone. I'm not trying to remember off the top of my head. The, tomorrow the plan is go buy bicycle, blue bicycle books, buy another copy of Ray Bearer, buy Realm Breaker. I think that's it. Um, if I could find a paperback of the, if I could find a paperback of Histories All You Left Me, that would be amazing. Um, but if not, it's it's okay. Um, what else? Okay, Adam Silvera signing, and then after Adam signing, signing, signing. I think it, it's either Victoria Aveyard or it's Jordan I I Fuco. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm very sorry. 
Um, and then after that, I don't think I have any more signings planned or anything else. I know there's a couple panels that I wanted to go to, one of them being the Juvenalia panel, and then also another, um, something about the past. Yeah, no time like the present. You think 2021 was weird? Check out 1912, 1926, 1927, and 1997. I want to go to that because I'm interested. I'm also very glad that this year when I went to my hotel, um, I wasn't kicked out or told that my reservation was canceled or anything like that. Like I actually have a place to stay that doesn't smell bad because if you watched my video from 2019, um, I went to my hotel to try and check in and then apparently they couldn't charge my card so they just canceled the reservation without calling me or anything. So I went to my hotel and they're like, oh no, sorry, your reservation was canceled. So then I was like, can I book a room? And they were like, no, we're full. And so I could only find one room available in one hotel nearby and it was so much more expensive and it smelled like pee. It was disgusting. So I'm much happier this time around.